Okay, dear students, uh, we are uh, going to recheck uh, one of our problems that is also uh, discussed in our previous class. So go through this. The Canon company is attempting to develop a current asset policy. So they're going to develop a current asset policy. And is fixed assets are how much? Six lakh. Six lakhs dollar. You have to reply so that you can understand. And the firm plans to maintain a 50% debt to asset ratio. So what does it mean? Their debt is 50% of asset. total asset. assets. So what will be total assets? Their debt will be 50% of that total asset. The interest rate is 10%. Interest rate is 10%. So if debt is 50% of total assets and you have to pay 10% interest on that debt. Three alternative current asset policies under consideration are to carry current asset that 40%, 50%, 60% of projected sales. So how many projected or proposed policy they have? How many policy? Three. Three. One sure. is related to 40% of sales. Another one, 50% of sales. sales. Another one, 60% of sales. Now we have maximum information. We need uh, a little more. What is the tax rate? Sir, 15%. 15% before tax. The company expects to earn 15% before tax. That is the earn, earn. They want to earn 15% before tax. So, so, and then interest on sales before tax and interest. Sorry, the company expects to earn 15% before tax and interest. So before pay, paying interest and tax, this is called, you can remember just E, B, I, T. Can you remember that? E, V, I, T, earning before interest and tax. So earning before interest and tax is 15%. What's the sales volume? Million, sir. Three million dollar. Their marginal tax rate? 40%. So what you have to calculate? Return on equity. Return on equity. Return on equity, how can we calculate? Earning after tax divided by equity. Equity. Sir. Why, why want to know return on equity? Because we want to know the capital that we have already invested, that is equity. After investing our capital, how much return we have ensued. So now, go to the calculation so remember have you noted all these points in yes, your paper sir. because yes, i need sir. to move so since i need to move then uh, you need all this information just remember uh, uh, i have all this information in my memory now so three different policy one is restricted one is moderate and one is very relaxed 40 percent of sales will be your current asset 50% of sales will be your current asset. 60% of sales will be current asset. And you see that this problem is also related to today's discussion. Just remember today, a few minutes ago, we have discussed about some working capital um, determining methods. And there was one methods, percent to assets. Can you remember? Can you remember a few minutes ago, we have discussed another chapter and there were some methods and one method was percent to sales, percent to assets. Yes, sir. 
So that is also like this, 40% of sales will be your current asset. So what was the sales amount? Can you remember sales amount? Sir, 3 million, sir. 3 million. 3 million so 40% of 3 million, how much? Sir, 12 lakh. 12 lakh, 50% of 3 million. 15 lakh. 60% of 3 million. 16 lakh. 18 lakh. 18 lakh. 18 lakh. And, and fixed asset, you were already given. How much fixed asset do you have? Sir, 6, six lakh. Six lakh, six lakh, six lakh. So what is your total asset? 18 lakh, 21 lakh. And then already you have information that will be 50% of your total asset, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then, then that will be? Nine lakh. Percent of total asset. 18 lakh, 50% 9 lakh, 21 lakh, 50% 10 lakh, 50,000, 24 lakhs, 50% 12 lakh. 12 lakh. So the rest will be? Equity. Equity. Then your total liabilities, 9, 9, 18 lakh, 21 lakh, 24 lakhs. Now you have to calculate. You have already determined equity. You see that? Just see. Again, return return on equity. equity what is the formula earning after debt divided equity. by equity you have already calculated equity can you can you identify yes sir uh, so yes, so sir. what now what now our job what we have to determine now uh, earning, earning after, after tax. tax earning after tax now move again what's the sales 30 3 million, sir. 3 million. Can you remember? 30 lakhs means 3 million. Yes, sir. 3 million. Then, earning before interest and tax, what percent of 3 million? Sir, 15%. 15 15 Very good. 15%. Can you, you remember just? Very good. I'm happy here. I'm happy here because you have already noted. Some of you have noted. 15%. And then, interest is 10% of what? So debt at ten percent, sir. Debt. So just follow my pen. This is the first debt, nine lakh. Yes. 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 So yes, ten percent of nine lakh. So ninety thousand. Then ten percent of ten lakh fifty thousand. One lakh five thousand. Very good. Ten percent of twelve lakhs. Sir, one lakh twenty thousand. One lakh twenty thousand. Now, how can you calculate earning before taxes? How can you calculate? EBIT interest Excellent. Deduct interest from EBIT. You have earning before tax. Now, what is the last step? Taxes. What percent of tax? Sir, forty percent. So three lakh sixty thousand and forty percent of three lakh sixty thousand is one lakh forty-four thousand. Three lakh forty-five thousand. Forty percent of this one lakh thirty-eight thousand. Three lakh thirty thousand. Forty percent of these. 1,32,000. The rest is known as? Net income. Net income. And that is also known as earning after After tax. Yes. Return on equity equals net income oblique earning after tax divided by equity. So your net income is 2,16,000. So 2 lakh 16,000 divided by how much equity? A 9 lakh, sir. Very good, very good. Now calculate and find out whether the result is 24% or not. Sir, ask you, sir. Then actually yes, the sir. second one. 2 lakh 7,000 divided by 10 lakh 50,000. How much? 19.7. Very good. And then 198,000 divided by 12 lakh. 16.5. So is correct? Have you calculated? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that is enough from my side. And I'm asking you whether you are happy or not, because I have checked it again. You have requested me. Pretty much happier than before.